My name is uh, Bradford Beck. I'm the president and COO of United Aeronautical Corporation. Uh, we are one of the owners of the MAFS II intellectual property. Uh, we are the manufacturer of the MAFS II system. Uh, we have a strategic partner with uh, Blue Aerospace uh, in Florida. And together, UAC and Blue Aerospace have uh, formed uh, a MAFS joint venture where our sole mission is to produce, manufacture, uh, distribute, export, and sell uh, MAFS II systems and components. Uh, also, we've been mandated to uh, upgrade, modernize the system. Uh, and currently, uh, our first international launch customer is the uh, Fuerza Aérea Colombia as the manager of the system and the Republic of Colombia as the owner of the MAFS system. You can see it behind us here. Uh, what This has been a, about a 14-month project. Uh, we um, initially started negotiations at the end of 2015, signed a contract in the beginning of 2016 to deliver one system along with uh, critical spares and uh, critical training for pilots and for uh, load masters. Uh, we have just completed uh, our contract, all our contract deliverables, and the Colombian Air Force is now the proud owner of the first international MAFS II system uh, ever exported and will be operated by the Fuerza Aérea Colombia, the Air Force of Colombia. We are um, eager to let them use the system and show the world that uh, MAFS II is ready to be exported and ready to be used internationally. And uh, we believe that uh, this initial sale to the Colombian Air Force will be leading to other sales. Uh, it has already started. We have another customer that we've already signed with and are entering production as we speak. So at this stage, uh, we've done uh, some uh, modifications and upgrades to the system from the existing systems. Uh, we are investing heavily into the production line, into uh, a lot of re-engineering, upgrades, modernizations as well. And uh, it's our hope that uh, uh, we'll be able to utilize uh, a lot of our existing network around the world uh, to be able to sell uh, MAF systems to the countries that can use them. How did your company end up with the right to manufacture a MAF system? <laughs> so that's a long story. Um, so uh, UAC, together with uh, Blue Aerospace, uh, purchased uh, the bulk remaining assets of uh, Air Union Corporation, which was the original OEM of the MAF system. Uh, with that purchase came uh, eight P3s, intellectual property for RADS 2, for MAFS 1, for MAFS 2, and a whole lot of inventory and other intellectual properties, SDCs, TCs, etc. Um, we quickly uh, zeroed in as MAFS 2 being one of the best possibilities for us to um, recapitalize on our investment. Uh, and after further research into uh, the MAFS 2, we realized that this is a capability that really fits well into many exporting countries, mainly because there's no structural modifications to the aircraft. Uh, therefore, countries that don't have large fleets of C-130s or don't have the desire to actually um, uh, retrofit or make structural modifications to their aircraft, uh, the MAFS 2 is the really only, the only choice and the best choice for them. Um, it requires uh, about a three to four hour um, uh, loading time to be able to load the system uh, and to change the S-duct and the door plug. And other than that, you're pretty much ready to go. It uh, provides a huge capability um, with 3,000 gallons uh, that allows to coverage level one to coverage level eight uh, with multiple drop patterns and multiple uh, drop selections. So for uh, countries that desire to um, have C-130s to be able to put out small fires and hotspots, the, the MAFS-2 system works very well with uh, you know, independent and sequential drops, or for large fires where large fire lines, lines need to be created. Onboard compressors uh, are run off of um, uh, generators one and four on uh, the C-130 and then they charge the compression tanks which then uh, when armed by the load master uh, uh, inject that air pressure into the center tank. Once the center tank is armed uh, it is ready for retardant release or water release or foam release uh, which is selected um, coverage level by the load master uh, and then uh, is triggered by the co-pilot above the actual area that the pilot is choosing to drop or is being instructed to drop whether it's on a solo mission or with a lead plane.